Today, September 14th, is the exaltation of the Most Holy Cross. It's a liturgical feast that calls our minds and hearts to the centrality of the mystery of Jesus' crucifixion and death as a source of our salvation. How strange it is to the unbelieving heart that we would honor this crucified man on a cross. St. Paul reminds his listeners that um, Jesus Christ crucified is a stumbling block to those who do not believe, an absurdity to Gentiles, foolishness to those who don't understand uh, the mystery. For us who do believe, we know that it was Jesus' death on the cross, his embrace of everything within us that was sinful, broken, and dead, uh, that has saved us from our sins and promises us eternal life. So we, we venerate the wood of the cross as the great saving mystery that Jesus gives to us in the great infinite power of his love for us. When I study the lives of the saints, I always wish that I could get to their level of spiritual insight and acceptance. Because what most people do their best to avoid, namely suffering, difficulties, trials, the saints ran towards that. They ran towards the cross as much as uh, many of us try to avoid it. Because they realize that within the cross is contained this great secret of divine grace. That when we embrace within ourselves um, weaknesses, contradictions, humiliations, difficulties, when we accept that, not simply as a trial to be endured, but as indeed a gift for us to acquire a deeper surrender, a deeper peace, a deeper confidence in the Lord. Though those things that are crosses actually become blessings to us. Most of the time I don't feel that I, I even can aspire to get to that spiritual plane. I'm all too human. But the saints speak to us those, those puzzling words that are reflected in Luke's version of the Beatitudes, where Jesus says, blessed are you when you are poor, when you are hungry, when people attack you. And woe to you when you're rich and satisfied and filled. Those seem such contradictory words to worldly wisdom. Yet, I think what Jesus is saying there is that when we're suffering, when we're facing trials and difficulties, it's then that we turn to God and we know our dependence on Him and we realize in that surrender we find freedom. Whereas if everything's going my way, I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to think I'm self-sufficient, that I don't need God. So in our neediness, we come to God. And today, as we celebrate this exaltation of the cross, we dare to thank the Lord for the gift of the cross in our lives and for the courage to embrace it, indeed to kiss it.